Good morning, everyone. This is Mar Haddad here. This is my cup of coffee that I have to drink every morning in order to be able to start doing some work. All right. So today I have decided to make a video for you on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, to show you about the chain that are inside the filters. So if you go to the Microtech router over here, and if we look inside the we go to the IP firewall and you have here the filter rules. So uh, you can see that if you want to create a rule, then you have the chain. And this chain can be forward, can be input, and can be output. A lot of confusion of many of my students and also a lot of uh, confusion for many of engineers who work on Microtech. So they don't really understand what is the difference between those three different chains. So in this video, I'm going only to focus on those chains to do also a lab to show you what each of these chains can do. So let's start first with the chain, which is forward. So what does it mean forward? Forward the chain means that the traffic, which is going, for example, from the LAN via the router to the internet. So it's like traversing the router, but it could be also from the internet via the router to the LAN. So it uh, could be from both sides. So if you want to see it here, this is uh, my network now. So I have my computer connected to the router and this router is giving internet for me. So that is, if you want, you can think here, that uh, we have here a cloud where the uh, router is connected to that cloud. So when you say forward, so that means you are going to do a filter rule for the traffic which is going from the computer to the router or via the router to the internet. So this is when you have to think of the forward chain. It could be also the traffic coming from the internet through the router to my LAN. That's also forward. So it's not traffic going to the router, it's traffic going via the router to the outside world. So let's uh, implement a lab now. Let's say that I want to stop ping from my computer, which is connected to the internet via the router, to anything on the internet. So that means for all the traffic which are going from ping to the internet. All right, so let's do that. At this moment, my computer, if you look, it has the IP address. Let's uh, rewrite the uh, command, IP config. So it has the IP 10.0.0.235. That is uh, on Wi-Fi. So actually my computer is on Wi-Fi and not really on uh, LAN. But uh, it's okay. You have to think that he's getting the internet from this router. And this router has 10.0.0.1. So if you want, we can just check ping to 10.0.0.1. That is my Microtech router that I have at home. And yeah, I can go to the internet. All right. So I can ping now. If I try ping to yahoo.com, you see that I can ping to yahoo.com. All right, so this is the traffic which is going from my computer to the router or via the router to the internet. All right, let's apply a filter rule to stop everything which is pink. I just want to stop everything which is ICMP. So let's go to the Microtech router and I will create here a filter rule. I will say the chain is forward. So any chain, anything which is chain forward, you can put here, if you want, the source address, which is 10.0.0.235, which is my computer, but I would just keep it like this. And here, the uh, protocol is going to be ICMP. So ICMP is the protocol for ping. All right. Now, also, you can say, or if uh, you want to stop it to do a uh, way into the interface or out from the interface, that's something you can do. But I just wanted to make it very simple now. So forward, ICMP, action, drop as simple as that. So this is now done. Now, uh, sometimes if you have connections which are already open, then uh, you better clear your connection to do the test. So just clear everything on your connection and now you can do the test. Because we have made ping for Yahoo before it was working, then it may have that the connection will uh, stay on the router for some time. Then if you try to ping it again, then it will show that it's working and you see that uh, the filter is not uh, really working. So uh, you clear the connections. Then now if we try to ping to yahoo.com, look, I don't have a reply. If we look to the uh, here, you see the uh, filter route that I have created drop forward. Look at the bytes that are increasing and the packets also. And if you look on the ping, you can see is request timed out. 
Excellent. So this is, as I showed you, this is the way forward. But now if I ping, for example, to the router, do you think does it work or not? Let's try. So you see, you are pinging to the router because this is, we will see in a moment that this is uh, for the chain input. So on the chain forward, we don't have ping to Yahoo. You see, it's not working. If we try to ping, for example, google.com as well, it's not working. But we try to ping to the router and we have seen it's working because the, uh, the traffic which is going to the router is not anymore from the chain forward. All right. So this is the first thing to know about the chain which is forward. Now, the second chain that uh, we have, if we go to that one that we have created, is called chain input. Chain input means that any traffic going to the Mikrotik router, so to that router that I'm working on. So say, if we, if we tried now, before we tried 10.0.0.1, 10, 10 .0 .0 we tried to ping it, we have seen that I'm able from my computer to ping it. Very good. But now I want that I don't want anyone to ping my router, like uh, to avoid any type of uh, uh, denial of service attack. So I would just say chain input, anything which is coming to the router, and here we can put the destination address 10 .0 which is the IP of the router. If you look to the graph, that is the IP of the router 10 .0 So anything which is coming, that's why I put it on the destination to the router directly, so chain input as ICMP action is to drop. Enter. Let's reset here. Let's uh, clear the connections one more time and let's try now again. Ping to 10 to 0 to 0 to 1. Here we go. You see? So now we look, this is one packet dropping, two packets dropping. So the ping is, I think, sending four packets. So in a moment, we should see that four packets are being dropped. And in a moment, we shall see, here we go. So four packets are dropped. I don't have any more ping to my router. But what if I ping yahoo.com? It is working. So you see, the chain input is to the router itself. So traffic coming to the router. You do. You can stop, for example, SSH. You can stop uh, Telnet. You can stop even Winbox if you want. So anything going traffic to the router itself. So that's what is called chain input all right so let's go back to here so we have seen we have chain input and we have seen also the chain forward what about the output output means traffic going from the router so if you want we can do that so uh, we have already did this fall forward right for input we said that everything which is coming to the router also it could be from the internet coming to the router so that's input output that means any traffic going out from the router to the internet or going out from the router to my LAN. So output means if you are doing, for example, from the router, a ping. If you are doing from the router, a telnet to another router. So that's the traffic which is inside the chain output. So now before we apply anything, if I go to my router, so let's open Winbox again. So we don't have any output yet, so it's still on the input the chain. But if from my router I try to ping to yahoo.com from my router, you see it is working. All right, so let's now apply the chain output and to drop the ping from my router. So I will go again here and I will have to say chain output and destination I will say to anywhere. So I'm not going to put uh, where the destination has to go. So anywhere as ICMP is to drop. And then finally, we just again clear the connections. And now let's try to go and ping again now to yahoo.com from my router. You see packet rejected and look at the filter. It's adding, adding, adding. So what about if I ping from my computer to yahoo.com, ping yahoo.com. Look, it is working because the traffic now on the, from my computer, it is for, on the forward chain and we didn't do anything on the forward chain to drop. So that is going to work. So you can see that this is how it works. So these are the chains that I wanted to explain about. You have the chain output, which is 
uh, from the router you do something the traffic to input it's the traffic com uh, coming to the router and forward is the traffic going via the router so that is all what i wanted to show you in this video i hope with this video now we have a better idea about the uh, chain that you have on the filter rule on the microtech of course firewalling on microtech and security is a big topic actually i do have one dedicated course for firewalling on microtech where we speak about all different uh, things to do on security to be able to secure our Microtech uh, router from different type of attacks. If you are interested, you can uh, see the link of uh, the course on the description of this video. And uh, if you like, you can just uh, join it. And uh, there are a lot of explanation about all different uh, security measurements that you can do on the Microtech router. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this video. If you like uh, my way of teaching, please do not forget to put me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and share my video to uh, your uh, contacts so other people know about uh, the work that uh, I'm doing on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for the time you spent uh, on this uh, video and I will see you in another video.